Hello. Hello, this is Mystic Momo. And I come to you today with a divine ma divine feminine read. So divine feminine is in an energy where she's saying, Oh, that's what they mad for. That's what they mad for. So we want to see why divine feminine is in the energy. What she saying? Oh, that what they made for. Okay, I get it now. I didn't get it at first. So let's see the energies that divine feminine is in, and why is she saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> is that what they made for? I see what they made for. That what they made for. Cause I'm in my bag, yo. And I'm getting cash, yo, yeah. Hey, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why is Divine Feminine in the energy while she's saying that what they made for? Yes, Divine Feminine starts this thing off because she says that they mad. Because these people around her that was hating on her now knows that she's in the Empress energy. They now know her creativity. Her personal growth, her strength, her self-determination, her loving, mature, grounding energy. They also know that this person now loves herself. She is in a healing energy, this beautiful being. She loves herself, she loves her personality, and she loves everything about her growing about her grounding energy. I know that's right. The bad feminine ain't know that girl. Mm. What other energies do these people know that divine feminine is in Holy Spirit? So divine feminine, so our divine is saying, they know that divine feminine is in a chariot energy. She is in an energy where she has ran off in her little chariot. She is on her way to success. Her goals that she have made are now being manifested. She is now in a victory energy. I know that's my divine feminine. What is the other energies that divine feminine is in? And she's saying, oh, that's what they made for. Okay. So divine feminine is in a strength energy. And when one is in a strength energy, they are in an energy where they are in an energy where they got their cape on. They are a tolerant being. They have went through a lot of adversities and have came over those adversities. They are in an energy where any problems that comes their way, they're going to face it head on. They're in an energy where they are being tolerant with others. They are being understanding with others. And they are showing their strength with analytical values. They are showing their strength with intelligent values. They are showing their strength with grounded values. They are showing their strength overall from the universe. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you today. Why divine feminine is energy? Why she's saying, oh, that what they mad for. Yeah, that what they mad for. So since we want to know why divine feminine is in that energy, we're going to use my cards, my adjusted, my crown cards. That is what we're going to use today to see why divine feminine is in this energy of saying, that what they mad for. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energies of knowing. We would like to know why is Divine Feminine in the energy where she's saying, that was they mad for. Yeah, that was they mad for. We want to know why Divine Feminine is in that energy, why she's saying, that was they mad for. We want to know why is she saying these things about these people. How does she know? Oh, so the first card that comes out is Abundance. So Divine Feminine is in that abundance energy. And those around her that wish, wish bad on her, did magic on her, wished on her downfall, now sees that she is in that Empress energy. 
Now sees that she is in that chariot energy. Now sees that she is in that strength energy. She have the strength and she is now manifesting. This first card that comes out is sharing abundance with you. An angel is sharing abundance with you, Divine Feminine. May this bring abundance and prosperity. Amen. This is the first card that comes out. So, Divine Feminine, this is why she's in the energy where she's saying, don't worry, they mad for. They mad because Divine Feminine is getting her bag, yo. That's what they mad for. They mad because Divine Feminine is... Ooh, I pulled out two cards. They mad out Divine Feminine is in a boss bitch energy. And when one is in a boss... When one is in a boss bitch energy, they are in one that runs their business. They are in the energy where they are stable, booked, and busy. And they are uh, multifaceted. Yes, this is why Divine Feminine is in the energy. Why? That's what they mad for. Yes, Divine Feminine is in the energy where she has learned she's in the Queen of Swords energy. No one can come her way and try to pull mad fuckery on her. She's going to show up and she's going to show out and she's going to tell them, please stop it. Your bullshit is not working today. Please try with someone else. Stop it now. Stop it now. Your faith is cracked and on the ground. So Divine Feminine is in the energy where she see the red, the red flags when it comes to mind fuckery. She see the, my, the flags when it comes to lies and betrayal. And she's able to point it out. This is the, the reason why Divine Feminine is saying that why they mad for. They mad because she's able to pick up on mind, and folk, mind fuckery and she put ones in a queen energy. She said they mad. This is why they mad, honey. They see you doing your life from your higher self, honey. They see that you're not involved in negativity. They see that you will not engage in mind fuckery. They see that you will not engage in mind dissonance because you are too booked and you are too busy, honey. You are too busy catching flights and not feelings. This car is seeing life from your higher self. This is what you're doing, Divine Feminine, and they don't like it, honey. They don't like it. They don't like the fact that you are winning. Every time that they, that they see that you're winning, they try to play victim on themselves. Oh, yes, honey doll. They place the victim on their self. I must have did my spell wrong. I must then do it right. No, you should have been a Divine Feminine. It shouldn't have been playing games anyway. Now that your spells don't work, you want to play victim. What else is this person doing, Divine? What else is this person doing, Divine, with Divine Feminine saying, that's what they mad for. What else is they doing? Oh, honey, they are still putting on shows. They are still drama queen. They are mad, honey. They are mad, honey. This next car is putting on shows. They are still being fake. They are still being the drama queen. That's what they mad for. Because they cannot get into your positive energy. They cannot get into the queen rising energy. They cannot get into the girl boss energy. So we have the first, this card that come out is putting on shows. They put on shows and proceed with drama and talk and be nasty and say hateful things about you, honey. But they can't say anything. All the things that they say are you are manifesting. You are a, this call, the next call that come out is Queen Rising. You are stepping into your power. You are praise and coming up. You are currently in the spotlight, darling dear. And that's why they mad for. That's why they mad for because you are a Queen Rising. They are also mad because you are a Queen Boss. You are one that is confident, intelligent. You are a capable one and one that pursues her ambitions instead of working for others. You are one that will not settle in life, you girl boss. Yes, honey. They mad, baby, because you're, uh, <clears throat> they are mad because your masculine is still tripping on you and they know it, darling, dear. They are full of disgust, baby girl. 
because you are currently in the energy. This next card that come out is tripping on you, baby girl. They know that your ex still wants you, baby girl. They know that he still, if you would take him back, he would come to you open arms, baby girl. And they are disgusted by those actions. This next card that come out is disgusted, baby girl. They envy the fact that you are in an energy where you are receiving your abundance. This next card that come out is abundance and envy. They envy the fact that you are receiving your abundance, baby girl. This next card that comes out is envy. And they envy that you are receiving your abundance. You are receiving your blessings. You are re manifesting at the current moment. They are upset about that, baby girl. They are upset at the fact that everything that they do, they have to do it dishonestly and cross their hands, baby girl. They are mad that you do things the right way. It might take you a minute to get there, but you get there the honest way and you get there the right way. This person is mad because they are always in the energy where they are crossing their hands and in a dishonest energy. They are also mad, baby girl, because they have to be a creative monster and try to steal your energy. They have to be a creative monster and try to copycat you. So this next card that comes out is creative monster. They steal your ideas. They copies you. They copies your work. They de they de they they depicts you and feed off of your energy. This dishonest person. However, this person doesn't anyone to want anyone to know that this is a secret, baby girl. They don't want anyone to know that the secret is kept, that they hate on you. But that they want to know that the secret is kept, that they are dishonest. And they want to steal your energy and be a creative monster. That's a secret. Shh, be quiet. Shh, be quiet. Be quiet. Yes, they in that energy, baby girl. Meanwhile, you over here not stunting them. Because you are over here in a healing energy. You are concerned with divine feminine um, healing cognitive, cognitively. You are uh, concerned with divine feminine's mind, body, and soul. You are in a healing energy, baby girl. And any of those that's not in a positive energy, you are leaving them where they stand. And darling, when you believe them where they're saying, believe me, they are stressed, darling, D. This person is stressed because they see you are getting things. They are in an energy where they are really receiving their bad credit, baby girl. They cannot get the things that you get, cannot apply for credit cards and do them. So I would like to let you know, baby girl, you over there looking fly, doing your retail therapy, doing cute. These people see you. And that what they mad for, because the next card that come out is beauty spells, darling. So this person that has bad credit, yes, this person is stressed at the present moment, baby. Because they are in an energy where they have a low credit score. This next card that come out is credit, bad credit. And after the bad credit card comes out, they see you out there winning. They see you out there looking cute with your outfits, girl. They want to take your beauty. This next card that come out is the beauty spell card. Mm-hmm. They want to take your um, magic. They want to do um, spells on you to take your manifestation. Again, this card comes out for Divine Feminine. Manifest your wishes and your manifest your wishes. And your manifestation will soon come into fruition. This manifestation card comes out again. Didn't it come out? Where was it at before? Didn't I see manifesting coming out? I guess I did. Oh, it was abundance. I know. I remember. My mind is, it, 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 yeah. Okay. So, honey, that what they mad for because they currently see you are manifesting, darling dear. You are receiving your abundance. So, this comes out two times. So, we have abundance. And let's put manifesting where you belong beside healing, baby girl. 
What else are they mad for? What else is these energies? Oh, baby girl, they're really mad because you changed. They're mad because you're not in the same energy that you are in. All of those negative things that's around you, you let them go. You are in an energy now where you are in an energy where you're saying, change is constantly around me. Mm -hmm. I will constant change. I will continue to receive this constant change as I receive my spiritual growth, says Divine Feminine. What else is you saying, Divine Feminines? Fuck all of y'all. That's not on my train. I'm going to continue to be unbothered with this bullshit. And all of y'all that's over here seeing me winning, that's why y'all mad. Don't try to uh, try to come and apologize back to me because you feel like, oh, some time have elapsed and I forgot. Oh, no, I didn't forget. I'm still on that train with leave me alone. I can do bad all by myself. What else are you saying, Divine Feminine, why these haters are saying that what they mad for? Why else do they know why they mad for? Hmm. Hmm. They mad, baby girl, because you over here moving in silence. You have learned from that shit that you have been through. You are no longer in the energy where you saying love, it shouldn't hurt. You are no longer in the energy where you were digmatized. So we have the moving in silent card. We have the moving in silent call. They are mad. This is why they mad, Divine Feminine, because you moving in silence and you don't let them in your energy. They are also mad because you are in the energy where you say, baby, I don't want to be with you. You keep me in the energy where you say, love should not hurt and you hurt me and I don't want to be in that energy no more. Yes, I was in that energy where I was digmatized, baby boy. I was hypnotized by the magic of the penis. I am no longer there no more. Hmm. Because you are messy and you have you are a messy person and you have full of options. This person is messy person, full of options. This call, yes. She said, I will no longer, if you cannot put me in an ish in an energy where I am the lead, I play the rule. This, this is the energy divine feminine is in. I am the lead. I am coaching. I am developing my best way to be the best divine feminine that I can. I am creating packages, programs, and all other products that will help divine feminine solve her problem to be the best divine feminine that she can be. I am coaching myself to be the best that I can be. I know that's right, girl. I like that one. I am coaching to be the best you can be. What else you are saying, Divine Feminine? What else you are doing for yourself? Mm. Let me see. Now these three wanted to come out. She said time heals all wounds. This is the energy that she's in. She's saying she's healing right now. She said, baby, you mad at me coming because you were my trick back. I know you want to fight. I know you want to fight. But baby, baby, you keep that to yourself, baby girl. I am too much of a lady to fight, to low rank myself and stoop down to fight trash. This next call is Divine Feminine saying, baby girl, I will never stoop down to fight a mattress bag. I know you want to fight me. This next call that come out is girl fight. This next card that wants to get in arguments, physical altercation, at war, and competing with another. So, yes, girl, she's over there fighting, having girl fights in her head, baby girl. Because she really wants to get with you, honey. Because she's mad. Yes, she is. She's mad, darling, dear. Because her graveyard, this next card that comes out is graveyard magic. She is mad that her graveyard magic did not work. She is mad that all of her harping, her stalking, all of her lying on you, it did not work. So this law is, that is the inside scoop. That all of the lying, the hawking, the word around town, she ain't studying you. Word around town, you got comic blues. Word around town. Girl, that's the news, girl. Word around town is I'm not studying you. Word around town, you got comic blues. Word around town, when I pulled back my paint back, you lost and confused. 
you immature being. Girl, I have no time to deal with females that have daddy issues. Girl, go find your father. Go find your father, says Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine said, yeah, I got the inside scoop that you want to be me, want to copycat me, want to be a doppelganger bra just like me. However, that's the inside scoop is that you are immature being with daddy issues. Don't dear, I'm over here too much healing. I ain't got time to deal with you ain't shit bitches. I ain't got time to deal with you ain't shit bitches. Stop being a hater, says Divine Feminine. I'm too busy investing in myself, darling dear. This next card that come out is investing in oneself. Invest in yourself to learn skills, to create a thriving self, as well as a thriving business that grows wealth for you. Divine Feminine. This is what she's saying, baby girl. I have no time to deal with you. I'm over here investing in me. I have no time to deal with you because I'm over here elevating. This next card that come out is, I have, says Divine Feminine. I am elevating over here, Dawn and dear. I am over here in a new mindset I am, that creates new results for Divine Feminine. I am elevating my mindset to to have different results that I had in the past. And I am and will keep thinking and acting the same way that nothing will change unless I change it. I am changing my mindset to get new results. And I am elevating, says Divine Family. Hmm. Meanwhile, Luna, hey, baby. This is why they mad folks, because you still over here being a cloud chaser. Mm -hmm. The next card that come out is cloud hungry. Says anything, does anything, make shit up, be dramatic, always do anything for cloud. She do anything for cloud. Yes, this one here. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, she's still over here being a spiritual hater. Still over here hating on Divine Feminine. That's what they mad for. Because she's sitting over here asking herself, why do I do all this magic against this girl when she's still manifesting? Why do I feel like I destroyed her relationship, shattered it, and fucked it up? I broke up her relationship, but hitting Divine Masculine still want her. I'm trying to figure out how did I destroyed their relationship i shattered it i broke it up i fucked it up says comic however i broke i broke her heart when divine masculine came over to me but why do this motherfucker still have hidden feelings for this hoe that's what she's saying because this next call is hidden feelings concealing secrets still wants to be with the ex okay What else is the characteristics that they going out there, Divine Feminine, why they know why they, they mad at you, folks? Oh, they mad at you, baby girl. They mad at you, Divine Feminine, because you standing out. This next card is standing out. You building your personal brand. You, you are one that's an extraordinary being that stands out from the crowd. You make your own brand. The crowd rolls with you. You hear me? Okay, again. They're mad at you, Divine Feminine, because you're standing out. You're making your personal brand. You're standing out from the crowd. You are an extraordinary being. You are standing your ground. You are standing in your power. You are making a list for you that brings out you and brings out the best in your personal brand. They're also in their ego because you're over here building your bird, you're, you're building your brand, their mate that they so-called broke you all up, baby. But why are they in your ego, in their ego, because you're winning. Now, they did all these evil, hateful things to you. 
and still wondering why you're staring in my face. They trying to take your place and you know that's the case. Hey, do you should wish me love? It really ain't my fault that I am the boss. I play it all cause. Hey, do you should wish me love. It's hard to sell the snake. So many people fake. So stay out of my face. Hey, do you should wish me love. You need to stop it. Your magic ain't shit. You need to get a grip. Hey, do you should wish me love. Girl, why are you in your ego because all these things ain't work? You need to congratulate this bra and, yeah, stop being a hater and congratulate this bra. Because this bra putting all her focus in her and she's saying results. This bra over here winning, she ain't putting nobody in front of her. She focusing on Divine Feminine. This is why you in your ego. Because you so busy worrying about what she doing. If you put that energy that you putting in Divine Feminine, wishing all this hate and doing all these hateful things to her, you, to her and put it in yourself, maybe you can win. This person is still in their ego. They still fear you. They're still negative. They're still stuck in their thoughts, stuck in their feelings, stuck and stagnant that they are alone. Okay, so Divine Feminine, yes, you were right when you saying that what they mad for. This card right here says it all, and I'm going to put it up close. This person is still in their ego. They fear you. They're negative. They have negative thoughts, negative feelings, stuck and alone. But they did all this magic to you. They did all these things to you. And you up in your ego because this person moved on. This person put all their energy in them. This person focused on their spirituality and healed. And you still made. You still made. You're still in the energy. This, this next card that comes out, this person is mad and still in their ego. They're mad. They're mad. This next card that comes out is anger management. The fact that the matter that's what they mad for because every single thing that you were able to overcome, they're mad. Everything that they did to you that not coming to in fruition, they're mad. And they're going crazy. And ego come out again. God dang it. They are really mad at you, divine feminine. That's what they mad for. They mad because they are and they need to receive anger management because they anger management because they don't want you to see you win. They're mad and going crazy when they see you win. They're all up in their ego. Ego came out two times. I know ego came out. Yes. Ego came out two times. Now, this don't make no sense. You really pissing this person off when you win. This, piss, this person hates you so much, but deep down inside, they know you are a dime piece. They know you are a glamorous woman. They know you are an intelligent woman. They know you are a woman of value. They know this. This is why they mad, folks. You dime piece. This next card that comes out is a dime piece. They also know, baby girl. That you are an empress. They know this. They know this. They know that you are an empress. That's what they mad for. They mad because they see you manifesting. They mad because they see abundance is coming their way. And they a bunch of broke asses. They broke it in the bag of glass over there um, in the comment community. They over there having regrets over there in the comic community. They want so bad that you to still fail. They 
still trying to find dirt on you. This next call is dirt digging, looking for dirt on you, vice versa. They regret so much that they are not on your level. Their money is not on their level with a broke ass. They regret every single thing that they did because it did not work. Yet, they regret what they did to you, but they still trying to dirt dig and pull shit up on you. Meanwhile, let's see why the masculine is mad for. What wing brought him in this situation? Oh, the first call he made, baby. He made because you want him. He wants you back. This next call that comes out is want you back. Baby, he made. Baby, he mad. Baby, he mad. He mad. He mad. He is upset, all up in his feelings, Don and D, because this next call comes out. He wants you back and you not paying him no money. He mad, baby, because you show him uninterest. And the reason why Divine Feminine shows him uninterest and she's saying, keep your distance. Fuck boy alert, major fuck boy alert. This is the please keep your distance, fuck boy. This is what she's saying. I will not give you an opportunity to show me fake smiles. I will not put, let you put me in the energy where I am in doubt. I'm going to leave that shit out okay i am dusting myself off i have pulled myself up by the bootstops i will not let you put me in an energy where you have betrayed me again this next card that comes out is you will not divine feminine say you will not put me in the energy of betrayal you will not put me in the energy of deceit you will not backstab me again you will not put me in the energy where you've been a traitor and you cannot be trusted this next card is betrayer and the snake is there this is why I am ignoring your ass. Instead of what I am ignoring your ass, instead of paying your simple ass any mind, I am meditating, says Divine Feminine. I am practicing patience, meditation, says Divine Feminine. I am connecting deeply with spirit. I am visualizing my new steps and asking Divine to guide my steps to move forward. I am taking action and inspiring myself, inspiring my goals, inspiring my dreams. Not focusing on you, I am meditating and getting closer to the divine, says Divine Feminine. This next card is meditate. I know you mad at me, Divine Masculine, because you received me your, your karma, because you chose a psycho bitch. This next card is bad karma. You're receiving your bad karma, Divine Masculine, because you chose a psycho bitch. You're receiving your bad karma because your credit is fucked up, Divine Masculine. This next card is debt, investing. Divine Feminine say she ain't in debt like your comic. She over here invested in her. She have a raising credit score. She is learning new skills to flourish her financially. I am no longer going to engage in you. Seek therapy, Divine Masculine. Remember, you was a, see, a spiritual hater. You are played out. So this next card, the Divine Feminine, is saying, please go seek therapy, Divine Masculine. Remember, you were being a spiritual hater to me. You didn't want me to get close to my Divine. You didn't want me to get grounded with my spirituality. And this is played out. This came in a reverse. Played out. This is why I canceled you because you did not believe in me. You would not believe in our relationship. You did not believe in our spirituality. You thought you was getting away with murder having all those different females. 
You thought you was getting away with murder, putting me in third parties and entanglements. You thought you was getting away with you, with it, with you didn't. Hmm. But then you went over there and you got an old puppet master. Now she over there playing with you. This what you left me for. You got canceled, darling, then, because you thought you was getting away with murder by going over there with that call me. Now you got a puppet master bra, a broke bra that's always in the energy where she's saying, I need money. I'm broken in a bag of glass in the trash. This is money out of sight. Start fight. And after the fight, the money out of sight, the fights, what comes um, after that is the narcissistic card. So we have those over there in the karmic community fighting over money. And they fighting over money because they over there fake flexing. This next card that comes out is act rich, flosses, act like they got money, act fancy, shows off. They are a bunch of fakers over there. And you be faking like a turkey bacon ride. You be faking like turkey bacon ride. You ain't got that money over there. Meanwhile, Divine Feminist said, I'm going over here growing, baby. This next card is you will grow from this situation. I am over here getting my balance, baby. This next card is I'm over here amazing, fun, and amazing. I am over here manifesting amazing things. I am over here achieving my results through my balance. I'm working hard over here. Hmm. But I know to take breaks every now and then. Because I feel joy and pain through the joy, the joy of not being in pain from a masculine that broke my heart. I am growing. I will grow from this situation. I am in a balanced energy at the present moment. And I will grow from this energy, says Divine Feminine. I will grow from this situation. And I hate nothing about you. I hate nothing about you. I was blinded by what I thought was love. I love me and you loved yourself. I hate nothing about you. I was blinded by love. And now, baby boy, you extra triggered because I don't want to be in a toxic relationship with you. You extra triggered because you know that I am watch. You're watching me and I know it because you are desperate because you're over there broke. You're desperate because you over there broke and you see me manifesting. You're desperate. You're, you're desperate because you always getting into physical altercations. Because your girl is always putting you in a love affair energy. She's always putting you in the energy where she's dealing with one night stands. And dealing with heat of the night moment with other men. She's putting you in an energy where she's always saying, Hmm, they better pay before they play. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. They putting you in the energy where they better play with they lay. She putting you in the energy where she's saying, I'm showing everybody what that mouth do and getting paid for it. What other energies is the karmic putting this masculine in? Hmm. She putting them in the energy where she always talking shit. But however, we don't care. We have disconnected from the masculine because this is the choice that he made. He put me in a love is pain energy that I had to go and seek my spiritual healing to get myself back together from what you put me through. Hmm. Now you mad because I'm in that energy where I'm saying I got opportunities ahead. Hmm. Money coming my way. If this is a divine feminine that's looking for a job, it's saying you are hired. And we got opportunities ahead. This is the next card. Opportunities ahead. And the next card that comes out is you're hired. So if it's this is a divine feminine that have been applied for jobs, Baby girl, you're about to get that. 
Because mm-hmm. you've been focusing on your meditation and getting um getting more close to your divine and your inner, he- your inner healing. Yes, you entrepreneur for you. This is for you. Your manifestations is coming. And if this is one that is on a, 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 a journey to move into a new apartment, yes, this next card that comes out is looking or moving in or out of an apartment. This next card that comes out is apartment. However, Divine Masculine, because things isn't going his way in the comic community, baby, he wants to give you an apology. Hmm. However, his apology ain't de- he his apology is not genuine. You know what he won't apologize to you, baby. This next card that comes out to you, we have the apology card. Someone wants to say sorry to you. However, they only wants to say sorry because you are in a dinero, dinero, dinero. Eh? You are in a dinero energy. You are getting that money. You are manifesting. Hey, however, baby girl, the comic over there see you manifesting too, baby girl. She see you doing things, baby, and she know that you are unhacked. And the spells she put against you are negative. So, say it with me now. Say it with me now. The comic knows that you are unhexed, baby. Her spells did not work on you, Divine Feminine. She also knows that this negative, this card that comes out is negative spells. This came in reverse. Their spells have not worked. Meanwhile, if this is a, a Divine Feminine that sent back the negative energy over there to the comic, Okay, she's in the energy where she's now receiving an eviction notice. All of that hate and all those things has now been boomerang back to the comic. Yes, her stealing and being a vampire, stealing and being a vampire, stealing your energy is coming back on her. What else is coming back on her? Oh, they're mad because they see you are putting these haters in your place. They are mad because you are defending yourself and standing in your power. And they hate you for this. They is a hater. They hate you that you are putting them in your place. They hate you because you are standing in your power. Hater. And that's the T, sis. Meanwhile, these people over here that wish ill will to you, they have burnt their bridges for others. Others is saying, we don't want you around us. So, the T is these people that wish ill will on you, this is the T. They burnt their bridges with others. Others are telling them that they don't want them around them I have had enough of your bullshit. Now they are stagnant and stuck and blocked. No one wants to be around them. Everyone at their job sees them as a fake co-worker. How how else do others see this comic that wish this ill will on this divine feminine? How else do they see this comic? How others see this comic? They see this comic as a grudge holder. However, those that she wish hating on that know firsthand the hate that they did, they look at you and they see strength, Divine Feminine. However, she holding her grudges. Others see her as a grudge holder. And they see you, on the other hand, as showing your strength and standing in your power. How else do these other people see? They other people see that they are haunted, baby. They are stagnant and stuck at what you did to you, what they did to you. They are stagnant and stuck that you are reachieving your goals. They are stagnant and stuck and feeling defeated. That what they mad for. 
okay? So, I'm going to say, if you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, how would you want the collective to move today? That's what they made for. They made you winning. They made it's over. They made you protected. They made everything that they wished on to you is now coming to them. You did the boomerang thing. Your ancestors love you. You are protected by the blood. Girl, it's a lot of things they don't like about you. But Holy Spirit, how do you want your child to move today? How do you want her to walk in? How do you want the collective to walk in your spirit? Oh, two of them came out. Peace. Be unto you, as my Father have sent me, says John 20, 21. Heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is nigh unto you, says Luke. Says to Luke 10, 9. There you go. So that's how our, our Holy Divine wants you to move today. And I'm going to say... If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. I would like to thank you all for all of my day ones and all of those that are here. Please send all of your love and light. I really love it. It gets me through my day, and I hope this helped you through your journey, and have a good one.